All right, stay busy after retirement. I know. It could save your life, though, so it's kind of important here. Yeah, we all like to dream about the day we don't have to clock in anymore. CBS 17's Russ Bowen joins us. And, Russ, that dream, it needs to include more than just sitting around. Yeah, it does. And the science proves it. So how exactly do we avoid a potential early demise? Straight to the point. People who are not positive about aging die seven and a half years earlier than those who are positive. That's according to a study backed by the World Health Organization. And there's more. The year after a man retires, he is at most risk of death. And those who do better have a plan to stay engaged, stay connected. Hillsboro resident Stephen Petro uses humor, satire, experience to perhaps save a life or two. I won't let anyone treat me with disrespect. Stupid things I won't Certainly do when I get old is actually a serious topic. I've talked about the fact that we need, like a Surgeon General's warning to say ageism is dangerous to your health because it really is. Petro brings up the fact that while it is a no-no to make fun of people who are different than you, there's often an exception that's unfortunate when it comes to the older population. It's kind of funny, but it also kind of shows that uh, we're making fun of her, and we do that a lot. Joked about or not, we all want to live the longest our golden years will allow. With good health, that's going to take having a plan to live while living that does not include sharing stories of your bodily ailments. I like to call them perennials. You know, they're not millennials or boomers. They're perennials because they're passionate. You can be any age and be a perennial. You can be 25, 50, or 80. It's about your attitude. At 64, Petro, leading by example, recently took paddleboard lessons. I just hope people will become more comfortable with who they are and that will realize that, that being older is a gift. And and, um, and, and a blessing in many ways. And you know, we all love to support our locally owned bookstores. Quail Ridge Books in Raleigh will host a book reading with Petro on Wednesday. That's at 7 o'clock in the evening. And you know, he's really got me thinking, guys, about what that next chapter might be. So my plan to retire at some point and do nothing is bad. It's bad. And you know what, Rod? We're not going to be Olympians either. So we got, <laughs> we got a lot of thinking to do. All right. Thanks, Rod.